Hello and welcome to Ginger Engineering. In this video, I'll be showing you how to program and use a limit switch using EZC V4 or V5. First thing you're going to do is open up your program, go to your current project, Now you're going to head over to controller configuration and in the analog and digital you're going to write in the name for your uh, limit switch that that is plugged in on your cortex I have mine plugged into port 8 so I'm just going to write limit okay now go to operator control you're going to open up variables and you're going to set an unassigned character you're going to name it whatever you'd like I'm going to name mine limit okay now you're going to go to inputs, select and drag over limit switch just inside the while loop and in digital input you're going to select the uh, port that you assigned for your limit switch and then retrieve to you're going to set select the variable you just made. Now press OK. You can close out inputs. You're going to want to go to program flow next select and drag over an if loop within the while loop but underneath all your code and you're going to say if you're going to add your variable the limit you're going to say equals equals zero press ok that means if the limit switch is pressed then it's going to execute the code within these two brackets so we're going to put some code in there Go to outputs, motor module, drag over a couple couple of those, set the right drive, I'm going to set my left drive, I'm going to put in a weight, and then I'm going to copy these down here, turn them into stopping blocks. All right. Now once I download this, what's going to happen is my robot's going to be able to drive like normal, but if the uh, limit switch is pressed, then the code in here is going to execute, and the code in here is saying that the robot's going to drive backwards. Alright, so a few things about the limit switch. Uh, uses, um, first of all, you can use it to, sim uh, similarly to the um, bumper switch, you can make it to where if it's pressed, it it does something with the drive like I have here um, it's also used to uh, limit lifts so if a lift is going up and you want it to stop uh, that you can stop a lift or it can stop let's say a Goliath intake which is a type of intake that is very popular this year in the in the zone competition in which the cone is sucked up through two spinning gears uh, that that have rubber bands stretched across them and uh, it's useful for that as well. Uh, so there's many uses, just like the bumper switch or any other sensor. So now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the demonstration of this. 